Oh, they're boys. Wonder if mission's working or not. Might be. Oh, they're boys. Gonna make sure. Uh, stream. Wonder if working is working or not. Tags. Arma. Might be. Oh, they're boys. Gonna make I sure. Uh, sure about the stream. Honestly. We wonder if it's working or not. Arma. Might be. Gonna make sure. Uh, sure about the stream. Honestly. Okay, it seems to be. It's working or not. Doki. Oh yeah, it does work. Yo, what's up, dude? Welcome. Yeah, boy, we're flying today. Gonna go wild. Very short flight, though. Just around uh, 3 minutes. In fact, 27, 28 minutes max. It's not a long flight. So, you know. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am, boy. Alright, let's start up this big boy. Okay, uh, I forgot to open Chase Plane. Brilliant. Okay, so let me just... Oh. Chase my camera out. Mess around. Cockpit. Oh, there's... There you are. Chase Plane. Coming up. And now I have a camera. Boom. Pan around the cockpit. We can finally start flying like a bot. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> that was... That was very convenient. Anyway. There we go. Now I have the cameras. This... Nope. It doesn't work. So we gotta get closer. Just tap it. Save it. Have the buttons working. Let's... Turn it on. Let's turn on power is on. Batteries can come up. Engines. IRS. Up. Alright. IRS came up. We can start. APU. We don't have fuel. Probably. Uh, have it. Uh, FPS pretty low. Okay. Using 76% of my CPU. It's, it's probably gonna eat whatever, you know. We gotta fly. Do what we gotta do. A. Turn the cams on. Displays are online. See? Wonderful. Beautiful. So, uh, what? What? To do now, yes, boy. Okay, let's start uh, planning the route. So, flight level is 15,000 feet. It's just, it's just a 20 minute flight around that. Okay, so down, start loading. It's gonna be pretty quick. I have just many passengers. Okay, We're almost done. Yo there, Karma boy. How's the audio? Is it okay? Is it too loud? Uh, feel for the tree. We good. Good boys, load instant. Cause I'm lazy. There you go. Now we can turn the radios. Thanks. You can cope. There we go, boys. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so flight number one six three six two. Seven flight level fifty uh, for that tree. I 
I know he seriously. Serious, dude? Oh, you guys can hear me? Can you guys hear me now? Are you sure? Oh. So do you hear me or not? Okay, we gotta go and call. Oh shit! Wrong uh, request. Service. Uh, Swiss port, even though. Oh, got it. Uh, eat gourmet. There you can see the boys. Boys coming to help us. Right. Uh, where's the cargo though? See, where's the fucking featuring? Where's my boys? Boys, and see my boys. Oh my god, the grass is eating my FPS, dude. Jesus Christ, fucking 3D grass, fucking game that doesn't use my GPU at all. Oh my god. Anyway, let's just wait. Gonna show up eventually. Where's the trucks, dude? And here, damn, but. Wait, they might be coming from Mars. Oh, there you go. No, it's not them, it's just baggage trucks. Nice. Anyway, let's go back to the flight planning part. So, uh. It's here. It's continuity there. SBBR, we're gonna go to runway. Oh shit. Nope, nope. Oh, okay, there's lots of arrivals actually. Uh, wait. Oh, never mind. Just RNV. Okay, gonna try. A RNV approach, which is pretty much GPS approach using a uh, GLONASS, which is very precise. It's probably gonna help us to get uh, to land safely. Really hope so. Uh, NV page. Where is it? Oh, there you go. There you are. Okay, uh, no which transition I should use. I'll go with no transition because I, I don't know. So, no transition. We have. Oh my god, it's very short. Very, very short as flight. It's nice. Not, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm. Gonna, it's gonna be very, very challenging. Cause I'm not sure <laughs> if the approach works. Open AFT right door. Oh, we got the trucks now, which is great. So aircraft doors open front right. AFT right. Gonna start checklist. With my boys, checklist. Enable my co-pilot to help me with the task because I want to make it quick. Cockpit preparation check. So there you go. My boy's gonna prepare the flight, and we're gonna watch the crew getting stuff ready. Oh my god, the lag though. CPU-bound games are fun. I can see my boys walking in and out. With all the food. Okay. 
Hasty. Big ass Atrid 20, dude. It's beautiful. The Sharklets. Take a look at that. Or, like any Airbus fan would say, winglets, because Sharklets are actually uh, Boeing stuff, so you know. It's in fact a winglet. Alright, so, uh, anyway. Back. It's checked. Checked is oh. complete. Checklist complete. Now we just. It's funny how they're not done yet. It takes so long. Oh my god. Are you serious? It's just food. It's taking way too long. I should have finished it like. Wait. Nope. Okay, now I have to close the doors. Uh, aircraft doors. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, we open the cargo doors instead, but there we go. Because we're gonna need them anyway, so whatever. You know, uh, flight plans correct. Now we just gotta go and check, uh, take off. We're gonna take off with flaps one, because it got a pretty long runway. There's plenty of room. And a flex to 60. That's great. Uh, uh, speeds. Move. Next procedure. There we go. I'm sent and approach. Now we're gonna need uh, ASN SBBR. Let's check uh, weather. So 70 11. There we go. Temperature 20. Great. PNH 1027. Okay, service completed. Uh, we're gonna land with configuration 3. I think might be the best option because we can go in f faster. Just a little bit. Nothing like, wow, fast, but it that faster than full flaps. So it's gonna be kind of easier. Considering it's not like auto land, it's all manual. It's gonna be, oh my god. Okay, there we go. One up. Now we can request a boarding. Let's go request boarding. We're gonna get gonna get the packages in and the passengers, of course. But it's a nice new terminal in it. Looks beautiful. Oh my god, FPS though. Let's see, it's using just 11% of my GPU right now. I'm not even kidding. And I doubt a little bit of my CPU. It's gonna, it's gonna, like, get uh, better once I'm airborne. Because then there's no grass anymore. It's just the grass. It's the only thing to blame right now. There's nothing else to blame it at all. Not grass. Fucking FPS eater. Anyway, let me check Discord in the meantime, as you know. Uh, hello. Yeah, it's pretty bad, because it's 32 bit, and, uh, you know, it gets kind of heavy with uh, custom-made sceneries, which were intended for prepared, which is pretty much flight sim with better technology and 64-bit, uh, uh, so... You know, I mean, they make it work with uh, flight sim, but it's way heavier than it was meant to be. It's not like it's heavy, but the game doesn't know how to use your computer. It's pretty much that. It's just not, uh, I'm gonna say, smart enough, you know, to use everything you got. Because it cannot go f any further than, you know, 4 gigs of RAM and just a little bit of your GPU. Because it won't like use off off your VRAM joints at all. 
I mean, it could use if you enable the DX10, but it's kind of bad. Oh, there you go, passenger bus. I wonder where's the cargo, though. So, oh, gotta open doors. You see the passengers getting in right now. But where is the cargo, God? I've been waiting for so long and there's no cargo. I need my cargo, oh my god. Have you guys done to my cargo? Have you guys... Oh my god, they took my cargo. They can took my cargo. That makes sense now. Hello. Stole it. See, we got all the passengers in and the cargo's not here still. Bad. Very bad news. Okay, there we go. Now we got baggage loading. Oh, no. There's no baggage loading. Where's my baggage? Oh my god, what have you guys done? Jesus Christ. Alright, so we're gonna have to pretend that we got baggage in because it's not working, as you can see. And, uh, we are kinda... Okay, we still have around 10 minutes waste before actual takeoff and then it's just like 20 25 minutes pretty much just uh, 10 minutes of free flight without any sort of procedures because then we have to start preparing for the approach because it's very short it's just 85 nautical miles like 200 kilometers around that it's pretty short very quick flight it's very fun because there's no ILS, there's no external aids to help you with the very hard part. Which is actually landing with low frames. Really hope that I get at least like 20 FPS. Be great. Okay, so let's see if we got baggage now. <laughs> nope. Anyway, you know what? I'm not gonna wait, dude, because it's gonna take too long. Let me just... I don't have time for this. Oh. Oh, there you go, there you go. It's showing up. They're showing up, dude. All the way down there. Finally. Ah, that took long enough. I was worried. It's, you know. It was not supposed to happen, but... There you go. There you fucking go, boys. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Hmm. Ah, the baggage coming. Rough. Oh, five people watching. Wow. Hello there. As you can see, my baggage is taking too long. Just Brazil things, you know? We're probably watching football or something. That took long enough. But anyway, they're here now and just... It's gonna take just around, uh, I don't know, five more minutes, maybe ten. Oh shit, it's three. Three fucking crates, it's gonna take way longer. Uh, whatever, you know. It's not five, it's three. Feels bad. They're live for around 20 minutes now. Great. All right, so let me just. I'm gonna take off there, so I gotta take that taxiway to the right. Great, great stuff. Now we got all the fun to ourselves, watching the baggages. Look at that! Ain't that amazing to watch? The animations are so fucking good, dude. There you go, take a look at that. That's art. 
Oh, we got the first one in. The baggages. Oh lord, I'm starting to get sleepy because it's taking too long. There we go. It's the second one. There is just one more to go, boys. Hmm. That's the boring part. Once we get airborne, it's gonna get fun. It's gonna get dope because, you know, manual landing. Our nav. Oh boy. Can't wait. Oh, I forgot uh, to make sure that everything's alright with the route. So, gotta take oh, the FMC in M MCDU. There we go, bring it up. Now we can uh, toggle uh, route mode, plan mo mode. Uh, let's see. The approach is okay, which looks like it is. So we're gonna start at Nimto at 5,500 feet. Then we're gonna start the VDAV and land. Sounds easy. Looks easy as well. But uh, I'm not quite sure. It depends on like wind settings and all the fancy stuff. I'm not sure if the wind's gonna help me or not. But looks pretty easy as of right now. There's this sharp turn and then, you know. Ba -ba 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 boom we land very easy on paper but <laughs> you know the real thing the real deal is way harder but whatever you know we can do it we can do it because Jesus is, is gonna help us all right so uh, we can close first cargo front cargo I mean Almost stone. Yeah, boy. We're almost there. A locked spot. Let's check it. Yeah, boy. That's it. You're ready for the final checklist before taxi. I mean, before push back, then we can finally take off. Which is gonna be very, very dope takeoff. A morning takeoff. Almost like synchronized with the real one, which. Took off like 10, 20 minutes ago. Did not match the same time because I was busy like planning flight and stuff, sadly. And then there was that delay with the baggage car, which took way too long. Kinda ruined it, but whatever, you know. Alright, there we go. We can now close cargo doors. We can close front left and F left. There we go. Well, you're just preparing a uh, final part of the flight, like getting Captain, cargo in. Now we're gonna push back. Kinda. Before There's start checklist. checklist first, which is the before taxi checklist. And then we're gonna start pushing back to start taxi. Now it's just basic stuff. Uh, let me discord a little bit. Oh. Okay, routes are alright, so fine. Wonder why Twitch is not showing up. Maybe, whatever. Right? Set. One, zero, two, six. One, zero, two, six. Oh, Check. yeah, that, that's what's Beacon wrong. Lights. Something Set. was Check wrong, I forgot complete. that. Okay, we're ready for pushback. So we're gonna just that position because there's a bug with uh, ground services X uh, baggage loading it's less forever for some weird reason but anyway we're ready now we're gonna oh shit keep taking screenshots oh no that way is okay request uh, pushback prepare uh, we're gonna go with Swiss port you know I'm not sure if there's with Swiss port there 
Okay, we gotta go with nose right, tail left. That's it. Uh, nope. Alright, there you go. Let's watch, because it's beautiful to watch. Push back process. There we go. Gonna start pushing back now. And uh, then we're gonna take off. Finally. Alright, thanks. I know you guys are ready for pushback. I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy. Happy days, boy. Happy days. Gear. There we go. Gears locked. Alright, can we go now? Please. I can't wait. Let me go. Just let me go. Come on. Come on, come on. Let me go. Departure check completed. Fly passengers inserted. Release parking brakes. Parking brakes release. Commencing push. All engines clear. All right. Let's go, boys. There we go. Happy days, happy days. Let's start uh, engine two first. Which is how it is. Uh, let's change flight 6362. Okay, forgot something first. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's working. Sir, transponder. Let's enable T A R A. Oh, wait, there we go. Looks like it worked. Oh no! It was not right, it was left. Jeez, I messed up again. Why am I so dumb? God. Dude, I'm so dumb, oh my god. Wait. Just runway number. Can read, oh my god. Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, never mind. I just screwed up. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I screwed up so bad. Set parking brakes. Set parking brakes. Parking brakes there you set. go. Parking brakes are set. Uh, engine one, engine two stabilize. We can turn engine one. One. Starting number one. There we go. Now we're almost ready to go. And yes, I'm pointing in the wrong direction, so I'm gonna need to take a very sharp turn because I'm fucking dumb. And I asked for pushback to the opposite side. Brilliant. Oh my god, why am I so dumb, dude? Sometimes I wonder. Why I gotta be so dumb? Okay, so engine one. It's almost page up, page up, page up, page up. Oh, oh shit! Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now we just gotta wait. Let's see pushback trucks. Saying goodbye, goodbye, boys. Thanks for the service. Now Daddy's got to go. Cause I got better stuff to do. I gotta fly. I gotta fly, dude. Fly like a free Flight bird. Free birds deserve to fly, and I, I am a free bird. See, we're free. Technically. Anyway. Okay. Let's, start checklist. Let's go to the checklist. I mean, let, let the co-pilot do it, because I'm lazy, you know. Set off. Well, that's yes. It's not going to be fun, you know, messing around. Set. Cockpit. So, let's just check. Our batteries are okay. 28 volts. Wonderful. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we got that. Let's see. Works. If it catches fire, we're going to know. Alright, so... 
Let's check. Left. For left. Right. For right. Neutral. Up. Full up. Down. Full down. Neutral. Neutral. Left. Rudder. Full left. Right. Full right. Neutral. Yeah, I guess we're good. Flaps. Guess we're good. Flaps one. Empty eyes. Off. Ecom status. Checked. Ecom door page. Checked. Hand signal. Received. Checklist complete. Right. Guess that's it. Nothing else to do. We gotta go to the cockpit camera. Start taxi. Okay, so we have to take a sharp turn because I'm dumb and I asked for pushback to the wrong direction. So, you know, let's just pretend it never happened, okay? I totally asked for the right position and it did not happen, okay? Nothing of that happened. You're just dreaming. All right, there you go. Now we are good to go. Not the right way to do it. I wasn't supposed to take that turn, but whatever, you know. Taxing checklist. Just gotta take off, dude. Oh my god, no FPS. The 3D grass is Set killing it. Because the Brain GPU check. can't do it. It's the CPU doing the whole thing. Pedal pressed. Check zero. My CPU is doing all the hard work. The GPU just sits there like, oh, okay, let's pretend I'm working. Let's just pretend I'm being useful. Checked. Checked. It's a fun old game, but I w really wish it could use my GPU. Seriously, that would be nice. But, you know. I got used to it. It's not a bad when I'm not streaming, you know. I get around 30 FPS because there's no other CPU load. It's pretty dope. Whenever I start streaming, it goes all the way down, but you know. I kind of get used to the old, oh shit, slideshow, slideshow-ish gameplay. It's eventually, you know, aviation's not like, oh, need like 60 fps nope you can play with 10 you can play with 8 fps you can play with 1 fps this is pretty much procedural you gotta just press buttons it's not hard you don't need like 60 fps for that unless you are very very spoiled you really want to have 60 frames then okay it's not my case so i'm happy with then okay no it's 19. I, I don't know i don't care Let's just fly. I might have enabled uh, the FPS counter. I'm not sure. Okay, so... We're almost there. Almost making it to the runway. Then we can take off. Gonna use a flex to MCT. Because Toga is very, very heavy on engine wear. I don't wear it out. So, you know. Let's keep it... Uh, let's keep it lasting longer longer than usual, so flex to MCT, which is pretty much like 80% power takeoff, not full power. Toga is full power and very, very heavy engine. Use it wisely just for, for go around, stuff like that, not for takeoffs. If the runway is long enough, just go with, you know, flex to MCT. And the grass, as you can see, is the killer. Okay, we can start uh, before takeoff checklist now. I'm gonna use my co-pilot for that because I'm lazy. Flight attendant seats for takeoff. And that's runway 14 where before we're gonna take off. Brake temperature. Checked. Brake fans. Brake temperature. Check. Brake. Engine hold selector. Check normal. TCAS. T A R A tilt above. Exterior lights. Yeah, boys, I think we're good. Set on. Sliding tables. Are we not? Stowed. Stowed. Checklist complete. Okay, now we're good. Alright, let's do it. 
God help me, because I'm not sure about what I'm doing. Not sure at all. Hmm. There's the killer grass. It's not even that one. It's that one right there. As you can see, there's a lot of volume. FSX hates grass. It does hate it a lot. Like, no, there's no GPU to make those calculations. Ah, it's grass volume stuff. Uh, anyway, let's just go for it. Ready for takeoff, boys. Raise yourselves. We're gonna go. And take off. Okay, that's not a great impression. Anyway, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. We're getting power, boys. We're getting power and getting faster. Oh, yes. Oh, take yeah. Off. There we go. Let's keep and it to the center like line, though. SRS. We're on the Check. center line. We're ready for takeoff. Power set. Oh, yes. Check. Oh my god, boys, we bouncing. Oh, we ain't gonna make it. B1. B1. Rotate. Rotate. There we go, there we go, there we go. We up. Wow, that was a scary takeoff. Gear up. I should have Gear just up. engaged. Anyway. Gears up. We can now enable the autopilot. Low. Okay, I don't care. I just want to die. Me want. What's your pilot on? Pilot on. There we go, boys. Oh, that takeoff though was so scary. I thought I wasn't gonna gonna make it. Cause it took Flaps too long here. with uh, the throttle. That wasn't the right way to do it. But Climb anyway, thrust. when the runway is kind of long enough, checklist. you can do it like procedurally. One step at once, climb thrust and then Check flex, it but I kind of went Disarm. like, I took too Check long to enable full power, Gear up. Lights off. but anyway we are up and we are flying, and uh, off. the FPS not better, off. great, oh Checked. yeah I know why, One, zero, two, six. fucking game, oh no, never mind, never mind, FPS is good now. Checklist complete, we are flying, boys. We are flying. We're gonna get somewhere, hopefully. 6,000 feet, you know? We just gotta climb to this level and set a cross -check. enjoy. Check. Damn, son, it took long enough. Pretty much the average time of a real flight, uh, uh, pre flight time around that. Sometimes it's longer when you have to review and stuff like that, but it's usually like 45 30 minutes. But anyway, we're now up. Uh, I find funny though that uh, the turnaround time in rounds like more than the actual flight because it's just a 25 26 minute flight. It's very, very, very close. Like 82 to 83 nautical miles. It's pretty, pretty close. All right, so we are almost at cruise level already, because it's like just 15,000 feet. It's a very, very short flight, as I've mentioned. There's not even need to go to go higher than that. As you guys can see the FPS got better a little bit. Oh, we're almost there. We're nine minutes of live stream so far. So yeah, it usually takes around that 30 to 35 minutes just to prepare a flight. When it's longer it takes more because there's more uh, uh, stuff, you know, more baggage, more routes to plan or stuff like that usually it takes longer or turnaround time and it's it gets worse when it's a very like I'm gonna say very far away a runway like when it's 
extremely far away from the gates and then you have to taxi for like 20 minutes like uh, Amsterdam's uh, 18L which is like 25 taxi minutes away from the gate it's very very far away it's more than a trip just to get to the runway it's insane anyway we made it flight level 150 okay now we got a descent <laughs> ain't that fun descent to preparation oh checklist. my god let's see uh Okay, so we're gonna go five, five, five. It's gonna work, I hope. All right, that was very weird. <laughs> well, we got up. Now we gotta go descent. down. Wow. Radar tilt. Set to go. Now that's a very, very short flight. That's how close it is, boys. Oh, oh no, dude, rip, you cannot hear me, can you hear me now? Oh, you lost all the procedures, dude, rip. And all the memes, I made some memes, because the cargo was taking too long. And I had to make memes, because, you know, they actually took like, uh, Half an hour? I was so fucking mad. But anyway, we're flying now, we're descending already. Which is unusual. And uh Dang son, that was close. It's a very, very short flight. It's kind of fun though, because I can get to practice uh, air, air RNSS, which is a very hard approach. Like hard, hard, but it's not like ILS, that you have a slope to help you. There's like aids on the screen so that you can actually just follow it. You know, if you were like too high, but during our RNV, you can't see that. You just gotta, it's gotta go and follow the charts, which will say if you're too high or not. But there's no actual visual aid, which is pretty bad. There's the VNAV uh, deviation, though. Oh my God! Is that a runway? No, it's not a runway. Never mind. It was a runway already. That would make no sense. It's like 20 minutes, at least. It's close, but not that close, you know? It's very enjoyable out there. Lots of green, lots of natives down there. With their crossbows, hunting animals, people sometimes. But anyway. I'm just gonna mess around the cockpit a little bit. Let's go up. You see there's a lot of down there. Let's see the vents. Oh boy. It's a fucking lovely workplace. And pan down. Yeah. As you can see there's AC controls down there. It's a very, very, very Cool cockpit. Alright, see you buddy, take care. Thanks for watching. I go up. Take a look at that, isn't that amazing? That's a sexy view.
Imagine working with that every day, dude. In real life. Flying planes, oh my god, it might be amazing. Such a nice, nice view. Oh, well modeled it is. They, they did a nice job, they nailed it. Every part of it. This looks amazing. Hell yeah, boys, that's true art. And now we're getting the good FPS, boys. We're getting the good rate. Yeah, yeah, 30 FPS, boys. It's very hard not to get a high FPS of flying over like nothing at all. There's no buildings, there's no life down there. Nothing at all. Just, you know that stuff and animals and the nature the wild and a few farms which probably not there in real life because this is just default yeah boy lights off it's kind of too flat though it's like netherlands but worse because it's like way flatter it's just flat flat it's flat and high it's like 1km tall like overall sometimes down 1 to 1 to 2km two depends 900 meters high it's very cold as well around this region it's pretty cold it's pretty hot when it's hot there's no rain but during winter though it's pretty cold Unforgi unforgivingly cold yeah it's like the, both of, the best of both worlds I would say you got cold, you got hot, you got all the fancy stuff and there we go we have uh, the first waypoint there nah, it was meant for more than flight level 10,000 and we are way lower than that which means that uh, we screwed up. We're not meant to descend yet, but whatever. Let's, uh, let's just say we wanted to get closer to the nature. We wanted to get closer. It's very beautiful. Nah. Alright, see you, boo boy. Thanks for watching, mate. Have fun. All the food. Food the Renos. Oh boy, now we're gonna take a sharp turn. Left side. Right, we're about 12 minutes of flight so far. Getting pretty close. Should SPBR close enough I would say I wonder if I'm actually that close though I'm not sure because I'm not with P fly and so I mean, it's open, but minimized, so I have no clue how close I am. And, uh, the window's too small to see the overlay. Uh, can you guys check the ETA for me? It's up there with the flight information, like time, destination, stuff like that. Transition it's meant to be there. Alright, there we go, we're pretty slow already. Great stuff, great stuff, boys. Okay, now we can start the approach checklist. Wow. No. Are you sure I should start the approach? No. It's weird. Okay, let's do it. Approach checklist. Not sure why though, but Checked. you know. Stowed. 
Dude, it's been just 14 minutes. Checked. No way. Is it SPBR already? Checked. No way, no way, dude. Shorter than a dock. It's the first, like, I made SBBR, SPGO, it took me around uh, 27, 28 minutes. But it was 27, it's because it takes too long to get to taxiway. I kind of, you know, made a short landing. It was very quick. I used both reversers and the brakes, so, you know. I mean, not short, I mean, I meant long, because I, I made it way past the exits, so I had to take an, an exit far, far away from the gate, and I uh, decided to not use the brakes, just the reversers, and you know, it takes a little bit of time to brake, so it was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but whatever, you know, it was good, kinda. And say good good but you know can't believe though it's been just 15 minutes and we are in approach phase already which is very very great because it's shorter than I thought and we might be able to make it in less than no we might not because it's been 51 minutes so far so yeah no way we're gonna make it in less than one hour so yeah for a for a less than 20 minute long flight it's gonna it's gonna take me around uh it took me around one hour so yeah there's that take more time preparing the flight and actually flying which is funny but that's just how it is in real life you know time consuming stuff oh yeah the airport's right there because i can see the frames starting to drop and we got a restriction now six thousand feet Hell yeah, it's very, very nice. Very short but cool flight. Flaps one. There we go, we start Speed flapping. Check. Flaps one. Flaps one, there we go. Now we have the V dev showing up. Which is the deviation is gonna like lead us down the path. Uh, let me check one thing. Okay, getting stuck. So we got uh, 0.3 required. We got 0, 0. Oh my god, I got a fancy GPS there, boys. Very precise. Why am I climbing though? Was a match. I'm. What is he doing? Oh my god. Dude, what's going on? I don't get it. It's supposed to not climb, but it's climbing. The fuck, dude. Anyway, that's the final straight. As far as I remember, we're already like gonna get like lined up with the runway and what a fancy. I'm kind of scared though, cause. I never landed here without like ILS, so I'm not sure how it's gonna be if there's any bug with the glide slope. Maybe it's too steep, maybe I chose like the wrong approach, but anyway, it's probably the right one, so yeah, we are on the VDAV, as you can see right there. But I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit to enable approach mode, which will then finally start landing procedure I'm just gonna wait to line up because I'm not lined up but as you can see that's the very last step then we make it to the runway and I gotta remember it's not too short so I can use just auto brakes and let it stop by itself okay there we go now we have to enable there's the there, there's the runway all the way down there the puppy lights Now you can see them anymore, but you know, they're there. Uh, enabling approach mode. Final approach is enabled. We are descending. 
so now we just gotta wait. Yeah, like low enough. Take controls and land. But as you can see, we're kind of aligned with the runway, which is very nice. Uh, our nav is very precise, even though it's not like ILS. There's no auto land feature. Maybe in the future, that would be great, like GPS auto land. But it's just not accurate enough yet. No. There's a little bit of deviation, so you can't kind of do it yet. But I'm pretty sure in the future you'll be able to just GPS land it, which would be amazing. Imagine that could land anywhere in the world that won't be like high cost of implementing Flight like two. ILS technology you just Speed go and land simple as that doesn't matter the airport Get down. nothing else matters alright so we're gonna start prepping up so gears down we gotta wait till we get to the right speed and we land pretty much so uh, as long as we keep seeing the two lights we're good I'm gonna wait to get closer and then I, I'm gonna turn off the autopilot and land. Down and locked, three greens. My heart's like boom 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 because I never did it before. Oh my god, we are lining. There we go. On. Go around altitude. Jesus Christ, dude. Right, there's no wind. There's a little bit, but it's not like major. So we're good. Why is it going up? Why is it going up? What's going on? What's going on with my landing? Okay, it's starting to screw up. One thousand. Now it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the autopilot soon. Because it's probably gonna get a little bit off the deviation. I'm gonna get too high there. But still we good. We good. We're kinda good. Yeah, we good. Are we good? I'm not sure. Actually. Okay, maybe a little bit more. We are on the speed though. Pulling the slope. Okay, now the plane is taking a very weird turn. It's just the wind. Or it's trying to align with the runway. I'm not, not sure what it's trying to do. Maybe it's just time to get rid of AP. I'm gonna wait. 500 feet. Come on. Come on. Down. Down, get down, get down, get down. Because I gotta land this baby boy. Whew. 500 feet. And then the AP is coming off. Should have been off since 1000 feet. But, you know, I don't trust my skills that much. Also, pilot off. 400. Alright. We got AP off. And we're landing. Landing this baby boys. Three hundred. We're on the speed, above. we're on the path. Kinda. Alright. It's aligned with the road. Minimum. Continue. Flight slow. One hundred. 70, slow. 60, 50, 40, 30, Okay, it's 20, gonna be a punch. Retard. 5. Oh my god, it was hard. It was very hard. Jesus Christ. Thanks, low FPS. That was a very hard landing, oh my god. I tried. Oh, I tried. But it was very hard, probably around. Phew, oh my god. What was it? No! Actually, it wasn't hard. Oh my god, I'm surprised. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised. It was just 182 FPM. Dude, what just happened? I'm like, wow. Check retracted. A surprise. Checked standby. Because it felt very hard. I don't know if uh, it felt smooth for you guys, but it felt very hard for me. And it wasn't actually, which is very nice. Felt like a bunch, you know? 
but like I, I kind of like took too long but you know it's a long runway it's okay but it's it's not how it was meant to be you gotta you gotta land right at the start of the runway there's no margin for that because you know long landings are kind of dangerous but uh, you know I'm learning this whole RNAV stuff I'm not yet quite good at it for to use uh, ILS because this slopes more precise and it, it, it you know it can make sure to make it to the runway there's no surprise you know you're gonna make it you're gonna make it uh, as exact uh, same height always like if you fly to the airport 10 times you're gonna land there 10 times at the same spot if you make it right if you follow the slope which is not the same with our nav because it depends on your GPS it's never the same sign on you know but anyway gonna made it now we're gonna go to terminal number two and uh, that's it let me just see go there okay it's a very long taxi now though it's gonna take ooh, quite a little bit of time so you gotta go all the way down there but dude I'm actually very surprised with uh, the outcome of this landing because it felt very rough you know I'm uh, I'm actually very surprised because it felt like a punch I don't know maybe it was just me you know maybe I freaked out and maybe it was smooth as fuck but the way he punched the ground maybe it was just you know the pitch I pitched up too much I was supposed to pitch up only five degrees pitched up a little more maybe there was a strike maybe there wasn't I'm gonna check later and, uh, you know watch the replay and uh, make sure that it was okay no. I'll rewatch the live stream later on to make sure the pitch was fine but apparently it could have been a day strike because it felt weird when I touched the ground it felt very weird oh but anyway good news we got a good landing rate it's it's very good because I hate when I get like a very very uh, high landing rate like 300 FPM it's very sad because you know you always want you to be the best pilot you always want to perform the best you can spend time studying the procedures all the stuff and then you know, it just mess up real bad it's very 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 sad anyway we got it very satisfying 182 FPM which makes me very happy and uh, I'm surprised I'm actually very very surprised because I, I felt like it was 500 FPM it felt like 500 you know I was like oh my god I screwed up so bad but maybe it was just the frames you know because it's it's very low right now so you know you can't really know what's going on I mean you can but it's not the same thing you know you don't have the same uh, perception say like that can't like tell for sure if it's okay or not one thing though I went in too low gotta work on that because it was way too low that was wrong it's not the right procedure I gotta work on that wasn't meant to to go that low at all, you know. I mean, of course, it should have turned off the AP, but it's just no way, not 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 the right way to do it, you know. It's not how it's done. You gotta work it out. Be very smooth. You gotta be there. You gotta you gotta come in very safely, and it wasn't safe at all, because it was kind of hard. Not, not not hard I mean kind of long landing it's not meant to be like that anyway oh my god how are you gonna make it to terminal number two okay there's a taxiway there there we go I'm uh, I'm still uh, getting used to the airport it's like 
her time. You know, I've been there in real life like many times. Or I could count maybe 300 times because I used to fly a lot when I was younger. But I can't say that I know the airport. I would be lying if I said that because I don't know the airport. Like, taxiways, all the spots, I don't. I just have a very rough notion of the airport where things are. And I think that I went to the wrong place. No, I did not. Great. I was scared for a minute because felt different but if it was a nighttime fight so you you know you can get the feel for the things anyway uh it's skate number three let me just make sure that it, it's skate number 30 oh yeah it's skate uh very yeah is it gate 30 i lost it cheese christ not how it was meant to be anyway gate three ah oh, there you go terminal number two now we can uh, parking brakes. I mean, uh, it, not quite how it should be done, but we gotta enable parking brakes and call uh, shift F12. There we go, gate uh, 3. Nope, it's not page. Oh, what was it? Next page. Oh, that's not, not it. Uh, gate uh, non parking. Conditions. Nope. Oh, dude, screw me. I got screwed. Very badly. Anyway, uh, back to the stream. Yeah, boy. That was quite scary. I'm still shaking. The landing was very scary. I thought I screwed up, but it was actually very smooth. Okay, there we go. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna just park in the gate uh, number 50 something. I'm gonna go up there to check. So that's terminal number two for the low cost airlines. An ocean Air flies there for some reason. Even though they have like big planes, they still fly to a very cheap ass terminal. Like that one, which is very small. It's like a fucking. Uh, how could I say? Very fucking hood terminal, but anyway, that's what I got. A ghetto terminal 63. Okay, that's where we go. I suppose. Okay, I'm way too fast. That's not how it's done, but anyway, let's just try to get aligned. I think we're aligned. Not sure. Okay. Now we can reverse, I mean, now reverse idle. And now we're fine, kinda. I mean, I'm fine, but whatever. Just parking brakes, then we turn engines off. That's it. Let's see if we can call ground crew. Request a boarding. Oh my god, it works. It does work. I'm so happy. Oh my Shocks god. Are set. Three. So we came to a random spot and it worked. Both off. Nice. Because I'm very happy. It's set very good. Off. Good news. Set okay. off. Exterior lights. Set off. I'm very off. happy, dude. So we got great landing rate. It worked out for the first time. The, the boarding feature. Oh my god, we got smooth. Oh no, never mind. I'm like down and ground. Uh, CPU just starts to act up again. It's very sad, but anyway. So, uh, Astro, did it work for you? The stream, like all the time, no like freeze, no stuff like that, like voice stuttering, or you had like any sort of technical issue with my stream. But I'm not sure if my internet can cope up. Of streaming, you know. I tried it sometimes, but I'm not quite sure, you know, about what it can and what it can't do. There we go, we got a baggage out. Let me take my. Oh, that's awesome, dude. It's great news. So it means that I can stream kinda with this internet. I'm getting fiber soon though. 
I'm gonna start streaming more often in the better quality as well which will of course not make up for the FPS but can be fixed if I start flying smaller planes which are not as heavy like hardware wise CPU wise I mean because GPU is useless in flight sim that's common knowledge I guess and my i7 is not that powerful so it's not making a huge difference like a very expensive i7 can do easy easy you know no frame drops no issues okay so we gotta open the doors now because the bus is there to get the passengers let's do it uh three uh front left and aft left now the passengers can finally go to their homes let's keep watching the baggages because it's amazing to watch there we go first tractors saying goodbye now we're almost done with whole flight thing it was fun I'm not gonna lie I like when I get great result like that great landing great flight overall it was very funny as well we had some funny moments baggage trucks taking like 20 minutes to show up stuff like that I know Brazilian standards it's just how it is in real life they just try to make it very real the delay times I think it should be longer honestly it should take way longer than that just to match like the real real deal it's just how it is you know But dang son, that was amazing. I'm very, very happy with the final result. One hour and eleven minutes for a twenty minute flight, guys. That's it. <laughs> we took <laughs> almost one hour and a half just for 20 minutes life's fun that's why I only do long flights because it makes no sense you know 40 minute for 45 minutes planning flight just for that 20 minutes we got a great landing though we're gonna check the replay just to make sure if it was like a tail strike or not I want to make sure because I'm kind of worried I screwed up it felt like I know it was way too long. This is my five cents though. Might have been a new strike, not sure. We, we, we shall see. Alright, goodbye, truck. Oh my god, it's a beautiful plane. There it goes. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's check the replay now. Uh, options. Sent replay us to try uh, 720 seconds. Nope. Options is to replay uh, 840 seconds. Nope. Let's try 930. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the landing. We were pretty close to the runway. That's the. That's our plane, boy. Oh my god, nice. It sounds buggy when, you know, when you try to replay after like 10 minutes, it gets a little buggy, but this will show, show up what with Dawn, if we did it right or not. There's the Peppy lights, I came in, I, I was too high there, and then I had to force it down, and it kind of screwed up a little. See, we got two stars, then we got one star. Uh, one light, I mean. Where's the one, one light? No, he came up nicely to this point. It was very nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, three stars. Okay, so we made it to the runway. We flared. That was a very... I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Not a tail strike. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wasn't it a tail strike? 
That's all I needed to see. Good old lord. That was nice. Alright. So, I guess that's it. I'd like to thank you, Astro Boy, for watching in Karma. It was very fun to fly with you guys. And thanks God we got a great landing. It's kind of freaky for the passengers, I guess, because, you know, it wasn't, uh, how can I say, it was a little long. It took too long to actually make it to the ground, and it would, would have been a tragedy if the runway was short, but it's not short, so it's a trick am long runway so there's plenty of room for that that doesn't mean it should be done though it should not but you know yeah dude I, I will I will is that I'm gonna I'm gonna get like fiber soon and I can like increase the quality and probably the audio as well I'm gonna bump it up to 250 kilobytes per second it's kind of complex first, but once you get used to the procedures, it gets pretty easy, you know? The, part, uh, the procedural uh, part, MCU programs and stuff like that, you know? It's very hard at first, but once you get it hang, it's, it's not that hard, you know? It just seems hard, but it's actually not. Planes are actually very easy once you get a hang. I would say that it's like easier than cars actually way easier than cars I'm not gonna lie I'm not sure about old planes but like a320 777 are pretty easy to fly not really hard stuff at all I mean of course it's a little challenging but I think too like big I think that it's a little bit of practice want fix Okay, we can complete the flight now, 182, 1 hour, 20 minutes. Wow, that was great. I'm so happy, dude. Very happy days, boy. Anyway, now it's really time to go. Thank you, boy, for watching. That was, that was dope so much and goodbye